Good morning, children. Sai Ram. This is the last part of your chapter number four. Insight into program execution. So let's see what is there today. We have to discuss. First is cloud computing. See, children, cloud means internet, and computing means resources. Okay. So cloud computing is made up of two words. cloud and computing where cloud means internet and computing means resources cloud computing is the internet based computing where we share resources software and information which are provided to computer and other devices on demand so why we are using other devices on demand on demand means whenever a person need this resources then only that resources is going to be used no need to install on computer we need to use internet only every time for using those resources okay now cloud computing is the delivery of computing services from a remote location what is the meaning of remote location here your server is going to install on server uh, sorry remote area but you can use from anywhere so basically so basically a basic definition of cloud computing is the use of internet for the task you perform on your computer for storage retrieval and access the cloud represents the internet cloud computing is a new name for a old concept the delivery of computing services from the remote location cloud computing services are delivered through a network usually internet okay so now let's take one example like we play game online without installing so that game is on other server and we are just using that without installing without installing on our computer we are just using internet for playing that game so this is example of cloud computing sometimes the services are paid and sometimes these services are free of cost for example example of cloud computing is google drive i cloud one drive so all are the examples of the cloud computing okay now types of cloud so we are having two types of cloud one is private and second is public we are having third type of cloud also that is called hybrid hybrid is a combination of private and public okay so first of all let's understand what is private cloud see children private cloud consists of computing resources using exclusive owned by one business or organization so this service is given to a individual person provided to a individual person in a private cloud the services and infrastructure are always maintained on a private network and the hardware and the software are dedicated solely to one organization private clouds are often used by government agencies financial institution and other mid to large size organization with business critical operations seeking enhanced control over their large size organization with business critical operations seeking enhanced control over their environment a private cloud also known as internal or enterprise cloud reside on company's internet or hosted data center where all data is protected behind a firewall so basically fire cloud is used is given to only one single organization children where we need to keep our data private so that is why big companies big organization mostly use such kind of private clouds now let's talk about public public cloud refers to a common cloud service for example this is a public cloud me also using the same cloud you are also using the same cloud and other person is also using the same cloud so this cloud is open for all for example google drive google drive is open for all everyone can use so the cloud resources like server or storage are owned and operated by third party cloud server provider and delivered over the internet in a public cloud you share the same hardware storage and network devices with other organization that use the same cloud called 
cloud tenants so if i am using this cloud you are using use cloud so this cloud service is not going to provide different servers for us we are working on the same server so it is open for all so this is called public cloud for example google drive apple i i cloud okay amazon cloud drive okay every example is to public cloud where everything is open now let's talk about the hybrid hybrid means if we want to keep some important data private so that time we use private cloud and if we want to open some information to all so that time we use public cloud so hybrid is a combination of private plus public let's move to the next slide now next topic is about cloud services using cloud many type of services offered accessible through client there are broadly three types of cloud services offered that allow the client to use an application or a platform or an infrastructure so we are having three different services software as a service platform as a service infrastructure as a service so let's see what is the difference between all three now n s a s s a a s means software as a service in this full software is available no need to no need to install on us compute on our computer at other server it is installed we need to just use that according to our requirement for example online games sometimes these services are free and sometime it is paid for example google apps microsoft office 365 google drive we are having 15 gb storage let's take example of google drive we are having 15 gb storage so if we need more we need to buy that so such kind of things belong to a software as a service in this type of service a complete application is offered to the customer as service on demand with saas you don't have to worry about the installation setup and running of the application children service provider will do all work for you you just have to pay and use it uh, use it through some client for example to use the office application online to use the email services online sending bulk emails using a software web conferencing customer relationship management project management and one invoicing and many more the sipo app available with this book also use this sub type of saas today saas is offered by companies such as google salesforce microsoft zo etc now let's talk about the platform as a service now in this we can make our application easily by using the development environment full environment is there you have to just do coding there this is for the developer only so here you can make your software here you can make your application so full environment is there in this type of service a development environment is offered as a service upon which other higher level of services can be built pass provide the computing platform which typically include operating system programming languages execution environment database and web server and so forth for instance pass can make you available a pre configured server and front end to work on databases the customer has the freedom to build his own application which run on the provider platform to meet manageability and scalability requirement of the application pass provide offer a pre defined combination of os and application server such as lamp platform etc so google app engine and apache is the example of platform as a service now you are having third type of service that is infrastructure as a service iaas provide basic storage computing capability as standardized service over the network iaas provide the computing infrastructure physical or virtual machine like server and network so with iaas so you are able to decide your server you are able to decide your ip address all is for you only we can select anything windows linux anything so basically in this you are having a full infrastructure with the help of that you are able to make a application you are ma- a make a software so amazon ec2 windows etc are the example for infrastructure as a service now 
we are having last topic of this chapter that is blockchain technology children this blockchain technology let's understand this with an example in your book only one example is given hasan and nitin were friends since their school days during their adulthood they were also doing business together all their financial transaction took place through abcd bank where both hasan and nitin and their client made financial transaction one day some common client of hasan and nitin hacked their financial data from the bank and forged it it led to a heavy losses and trust violation of clients after some time hasan and nitin decided to continue the same business but this time they decided that every time a financial transaction would be take place each connected client would get a printed copy of it so all connected client would get printed copies of each financial transaction taking place thus would have their own copy of ledger containing details of all financial transaction every time a new transaction take place all available financial data is compared with the existing ledger if they match the transaction is considered valid this happened at all the clients end so if someone try to forge data then its data will not match all the copies of decentralized distributed ledger available with all the client thus will be rejected hasan and nitin are happy with this secure form of financial transaction and so they are mm-hmm. clients see children let's understand this concept so hasan and nitin both are friends they are working on a business they they got a loss because of one common client so what they decided to decide have a blockchain technology in this blockchain technology suppose we are having few clients so they decided like if they do any transactional online transaction so every client will get that information and that client should sign individually so that we can get approval from each and every client so with this they will get a less less uh less chance of get f- to get fraud so this style of financial transaction is called blockchain technology now every transaction detail is sent to all the concerned clients so everyone is going to be informed about the transaction so um they can be secure okay so what is the benefit of using blockchain technology children it increase the time effectiveness due to the real time transaction so direct transaction eliminate the overheads of intermediary cost reduce risk related to the cyber crime fraud and tampering more transparent process so if everybody is knowing about the transaction so it will be a transparent process okay highly secure due to the cryptography and decentralized blockchain protocol so with this your this chapter number 4 is finished thank you so much we will meet with the new chapter in the next video sairam